Play-Doh Painted Prints To create the dough you'll need a bowl, a spoon, one measure of plain flour, half a measure of salt and half a measure of water. You'll need scissors, string or ribbon and then for uh, cutting out your shapes you could do with some either pastry cutters or any shapes that you can cut around as a template, barbecue sticks or a pencil and lots of different objects that you can find that will make interesting prints. For colour choose safe water based paints, so acrylics are good for this, you need some paint brushes, water and kitchen towel. To make the dough, add your full portion of flour and half a portion of salt together in a bowl and then add a bit of water and stir. Keep repeating this until it starts to form a dough texture. If it gets too sticky, add a bit more flour to it. Then using your fingers, bind it together to create a ball. Place the ball onto a clean surface and roll it flat using a rolling pin and keep turning the dough around and keep rolling so it's an even thickness. It needs to be a minimum of 5mm thick to get a good print. Take your items and press them in evenly into the dough so you can really experiment with all the things that you've found to understand what makes a really good print. You can then use a cutter to then cut out your shape for your artwork or you can roll the dough first and then using an object as a template cut around it and then reuse any of the scraps that you cut off to make another artwork. Any age and ability can do this so half the fun is finding objects that you can make great patterns and marks with to form your picture. Once finished you need to add two holes at the top of your picture and this is going to be used to hang your picture up with so use something with a point like a barbecue stick or a pencil. Place the holes near the edge but not too close to avoid them breaking after you've cooked them and make sure that they're crisp and clean and big enough for your string to go through. When you're ready your play-doh prints then need to be baked and you can do this either in an oven or a microwave. So for an oven obviously place them on a baking tray and they need to go in at gas mark 2 or 150 degrees centigrade and check them after an hour and then every 15 minutes. For a microwave place your artworks onto baking paper and then onto your microwave plate then cook them for 20 seconds check them and then do it for 10 seconds at a time so you're checking until they're cooked. Leave them to cool and now for the fun bit for the painting. Paint all the printed parts first and don't worry about splodging that paint on, you need to get it in all those nooks and crannies. Once dry use a flat brush and gently paint across the surface so your paint needs to have hardly any water in it so it doesn't drip so as you can see as you gently brush across the surface it picks up all the details of the prints and then to finish off paint your edges the last stage now to create your hanging cut a length of string wool or ribbon and tie a knot on the end and pull it from the back of your artwork through to the front turn it over and go through the other hole and pull it through and then tie a knot on the end big enough so it can't pull through that hole and there you have it you've got your hanging so have fun finding lots of different objects to make your own play-doh painted prints